Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, Motorhome in Fun. We brought you out on a lovely Saturday morning walk today. We have come over to Sywell Country Park in Northamptonshire for a little pre-Christmas walk and a wander. It's extremely windy today, so I hope you're picking everything up okay on the mic, guys, and that. So we'll spin you around shortly and um, we'll show you a bit of scenery and everything around here and that but um, it's lovely and dry crisp and that so um, it should be a nice little walk right so as I say this is Sywell Country Park in Northamptonshire as you can see it's a big reservoir you walk around the perimeter is probably about three miles you've probably seen some previous videos from here and that guys and um, we're filming on the DJI Pocket 3 again and we've got a ND16 filter on it today so it's the first time we're trying it with a filter so as I say we're gonna have a slow wander around the country park have a little bit of a chat about things we're doing next year motorhoming wise and that, um, as I say, we've probably been bombarding you with some drone flights the last few weeks, guys. But hey ho, that's one of our hobbies and that, guys. And um, we're not doing no motorhoming again until the new year, which we'll tell you about soon. So we're just going to have a little wander along this causeway. We'll just go down the steps in a minute. Anyway, I'd just like to wish everybody who supports the channel, comments, likes, etc. A very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all. And that and all the motorhomers, hope you have some good trips next year. And same goes to all my drone flying buddies, hope you have some good flights, etc. So we're just going to take a little wander down the steps. And this guy, we've also got Bo with us as well today, that's Mum's dog, she's a Shih Tzu, she always comes for a nice long walk on a weekend with us. Anybody going away in the motorhome, tell us where you're going for Christmas guys, and that, as I say, next trip for me is January this year, we're just going to one of our favourite little sites up in Derbyshire called Castleton. So I think we've just got three days there to, just to break up the Christmas holidays before we go back to work. So I hope the weather is good there. I hope we're not going to get no snow or anything or else we'd probably be cancelling. But um, that is the first trip planned. Right, so we just have a little wander up here. Anyway, we got about 919 subscribers at the moment guys on the channel. If you haven't subscribed and hit that bell icon, please do you get all the latest updates when we next post of our vlog. The latest count, there was 80% of my viewers who aren't subscribed. So we'd have nigh on 5,000 subscribers if everybody subscribed to the channel. getting more and more impressed with this Pocket 3 camera. As I say, we haven't been trying ND filters at all, so we thought we'd just get a 16 to try. Sometimes in this country, we don't need a lot more than that. Anything above 16, 32, you're talking about really 
strong sunlight. I don't think this guy's happy with me today. We left the ball in the car, but um, she tends to put the ball down the rabbit holes here. So I thought, well, we'll leave it today and we'll come and have a little filming session and a little chat. Right, so that is looking back along the causeway at Sywell. Not too many people about at the moment. I would imagine a lot of people are still doing the Christmas shopping this weekend. I must admit, I'm finished now. We done the food shopping yesterday, and I must say, Tesco's at Ketrin was horrendous. So, I don't think I can be doing with any more of that. Right, so we're just going to take a steady walk around the country park now. I'm going to try and avoid all the muddy sections this morning. I've only got the walking shoes on today. No wallies or boots. Anyway, I had some good trips this year. I was trying to think in bed last night of all the places we went to. I think we started off at Chatsworth just after the new year. And then we had a little break for a couple of months. And then I think in March time, we went up to Norfolk. That was Cromer. And then for Easter, I believe, if I can remember right, we went to one of our favourite sites in the country, Uphill Marina and a Campsite. That was near Western Supermare. So that was the Easter trip. And then I think for the early May bank holiday, which coincided with my birthday, we went up to the Wirral Country Park. Really enjoyed that one. That was a new area for me and Sky to explore. And then, oh, what was it then? That was that. And then the late May Bank holiday, we ventured to Munsley in Norfolk. As I say, that is a lovely little site called Sandy Goals. Go back and check all the videos from there and the drone flights and that. So we're heading back there next year, or I should say, yeah, next year. I think it's March 2021, 24, 24. And that's a little freebie the site have give us because we publicised their site on a few vlogs last year. There's all the geese. Right, after Sandy Gulls, we had our main summer holiday. We went to an area of the country, which I probably hadn't been to for about 45 years since I was a child and we went up to North Wales. We started off in Lamberis, which was stunning. And then we went across to Anglesey, we had two sites there. And then we followed that back onto the mainland to Harlech and Barmouth. Right, following on from the 
summer holiday. We then had a trip up to Suffolk, which I think was our first failure in five years of motorhoming. Partly down to the campsite. That was Southwold. We got there and had no warnings from the campsite. We were put on the pitch and it was totally waterlogged. So I think we had about 30 minutes there and then we just left. So yeah, that was a first failure, as I say, in five years. So we are planning to go back there hopefully next year. We want to do Southwold and Albra all again. So um, yeah, failure. Right, following on from Southwold, I think we had a little, about a two week break, and then we ventured down to Dorset. This was another one of our favourite sites we went to first. We went to Highlands End at West Bay near Bridport. We had four nights there, stunning place that is guys, so go and check out the vlogs on that one. And then we went to a new site just down the road near Weymouth called East Fleet Farm. That was also stunning as well. Had some stunning drone flights there from above going over Chisel Beach and everything. So really recommend that one. And then in the early October we had four cracking days at Bridlington. We went to the South Cliff Holiday Park, which is run by the local council, but it's a beautiful site, guys, close to the beach as well. So that's another one of my recommendations. And then to finish off the year, we had an unexpected trip back to Cromer in Norfolk. That was in November. Work was a little bit slack at the time, so we thought, hey ho, let's go away for a few days. So that was the last trip of the 2023 motorhoming season. Right, we're gonna venture into the woodland area now. This is called Hayes Wood wildlife refuge morning this is the only part of the walk where dogs have to be on leads so we've got sky on waste lead today. We've got a little bit of a problem with my shoulder. Had a scan about three days ago and I've got some tendon problems on my shoulder so we're trying to keep her from pulling my arms and shoulders. We've got to have a steroid injection in the coming weeks. Luckily the tendon isn't broken or torn and that's so uh, um, just severely inflamed uh, the injury's been going on about nine months now and I've left it and left it hoping it'll just get better but in the end um, we thought we better seek some medical advice as I say we went for a ultrasound scan a few days ago and they picked up the tendon problem so Hopefully it'll get better in 2024, but um, unfortunately with my job and trade, the building trade, things don't get rested. All right, we'll just have a little chat about a few plans for 2024 now. As I say, we've got Castleton coming up. First of all, in January, 
I think we've just got the three nights there to enjoy, look forward to. And then we'll give a little break until March time when we're back up to Norfolk to Sandy Goals. That is a little freebie one, what the site has offered us. So that should be good. We look forward to going to Norfolk. We do. It's one of the areas around the country where we like. And then I think the next planned trip is Easter. Um, we're going back down to Somerset. We've got four nights at the Caravan and Motorhome Club site at Cheddar. Went there about four years ago. Really enjoyed that. Going up the Cheddar Gorge and over the tops of the mountains, the cliffs and that. So some stunning views up there. So it'd be nice this time. We weren't drone flying at the time to get the drone up. Now that is Easter. Then the early May bank holiday, we booked into Pinewoods at Wells next to the sea. That is my birthday trip as well. So we'll combine both. And then the end of May, the May bank holiday at the end of May, not booked yet, but um, I've got plans to go back down to Somerset to Minehead, hopefully. So that is my thinking at the moment. All right, and that brings us to the main summer holiday, which we need to book at some point. And hopefully we're gonna do South Wales and the Gower Peninsula. So looking forward to that two week trip, or it might even be 15 days with the planned sites I've got in mind at the moment. And then we'll be back to work for about six weeks. And then we got August Bank Holiday, which is booked at Deepdale Camping, which is near Brancaster, Norfolk. So that's another one we went to two years ago. Thoroughly enjoyed our stay there. So we're going to go back there. Hopefully September. Nothing booked, but um, as I said previously, Southwold and Albra is my intentions. And then the last planned trip of 24, which is already in the diary and booked, is our trip to Whitby. And that is Sandhouse Field Farm, which is stunning probably the best site in Whitby. You got Sands End just down the road and Whitby. So you're pretty central to both of those. Got some stunning beaches, lovely walks into town. So that at the moment is our 2024 plans for motorhoming. So do guys go and subscribe, hit that bell. You'll be the first to know when we've uploaded a video and obviously we do lots of drone flying in between all right so we're still in the Hayes wood section if you want to see some drone flights from here guys go back and check on the channel we are near a restriction. There's a small airport here. So obviously when I do fly, I have to get permission from the airport. As I said, we're in a flight restriction zone. And that's why I have to give them pre-warning. Tell them how high I'm flying, what time and the length of the flight and that just to abide by the UK drone laws. Anyway, tell us what your plans are, motorhoming wise, for the 24 season guys. If not, 
let me know on Motorhoming Happiness, our main Facebook group. If you're not joined that already, guys, go over, have a look. We've got about 23,500 members on there. Had that going for about three and a half years now. And also go and have a look at my Facebook page, Ian and Sky Motorhoming Fun. Right, just a little look back from where we come from. You can see most of the leaves have fallen now. Right, another good thing happened last week. We're good to go for another 12 months with a motorhome. Motorhome had its MOT and passed again. No advisories, so that was all good. As you can see, it's a beautiful day now. Morning. Right, so we're just going to have a little experiment, guys. I just want to see how the footage compares without an ND filter on. We've gone back to all the settings in auto as well. See if you can tell a difference. I say sometimes they say you need an ND filter for the motion blur. You can probably see the sun looks beautiful this morning, nice and low in the sky, reflecting off the water. We're probably about a 
mile and a half in now on this walk. the gate and this one is called Spindle End Wildlife Refuge. We can go two ways here, one to the right, one to the left. We should go to the left. This makes it a little bit longer walk. That is the bottom track. But this one puts about another half a mile on the walk. Right, so we put the filter back on again. Do tell me guys if you can see much of a difference in the footage. As I say, we're going to manual settings now. We're shooting in 4K25. So um, we put the shutter speed up to 1 over 50. Which should give us the right motion blur. I think this is the first time the wind has dropped in about the last three days. Uh, horrendous windy conditions in the Midlands. So I don't even been able to have a fly with a drone and that hopefully we'll get some time next week and then we're up in Derbyshire, Castleton, Hope, see if we can go up Cave Dale again across the tops of the fields up towards Nam Tor and the Winnets Pass But um, this is a lovely little walk for our sleepy county of Northamptonshire. Right, if anybody's thinking about getting one of these pocket three cameras, guys, yeah, I'd say go for it. Um, first of all, I wasn't vastly impressed, but um, I've been using it for about the last seven weeks now and it's becoming a go-to camera I like the microphone as well because we don't have to plug a receiver in it's just straight out the box the microphone and it um, works in conjunction with a camera so yeah it's pretty good guys so um, if you've got money to buy the combo setup I would definitely go for it also the camera on it is pretty good for stills pictures 9, mega, nine megapixel pictures they produce which is on a similar par to the iPhone or well, my iPhone 14s
Right, we get on the home straight now. Probably got a good half a mile left of this walk. Really enjoyable. Hope you've liked it, guys. So please give me a comment and a like, please. Right, I've got quite a bit of low sun in front of us now, so as I say, it'd be interesting to see with a filter on how it's looking on the big screen when we go back. The sky wants to wander around the water's edge, but um, if we got wellers or boots on, we probably would. Plus we got Bo and um, Mum recently had Bo groomed, so she won't want her going back dirty. So we're sticking on the puffs today. We'll probably have a little wander into our local Wixties this afternoon. We did go there yesterday and that was definitely a welly job. Just as I talked about the wind dropping, it seems to have come back again. About 30 minutes where it all went quiet, and now it's um, quite blowy. Right, she wants to go where the mud is. Anyway, we're coming to the end of this walk now, everybody. Thank you if you stay to the end. As I say, I'd just like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And as I say, thank you for following the channel over the last 12 months and over the recent years since we started vlogging. And we'll see you all in 2024. As I say, if you're not subscribed, hit that button and the bell icon, guys, and you'll see more of us in 24. So, bye for now.
Right, thank you everybody, and we'll see you all on the next one. So, it's a bye from me, it's a bye from Sky, and it's also a bye from Bo today.